Hey boys and girls, Mrs. Leach here. Um, I wanted to come on and let you guys know how much I miss you and I can't wait to see you guys again soon. I hope they'll open the schools up um, shortly so we can all be together again. I miss our classroom meetings and I miss our read aloud time the most. So I figured I would come on today and do a little read aloud with you guys. Um, we have been learning a lot about theme in third grade so I wanted to stick to that topic and I wanted to think about the theme of this story called Better Than You. Um, so remember good readers think about the theme of a story when they read. The theme of a story is the lesson that the author is trying to teach us. So what he wants us to learn from his story. So some questions that we're going to think about today when we read uh, what did Tyler learn? And how did Tyler feel when he hung out with Jake? Those are the two questions I want you to think about while I'm reading this story. So again, it's called Better Than You. My neighbor Jake can be a real jerk, always letting me know that whatever I do, he can do better. Don't get me wrong, Jake is great at practically everything he does, especially sports. Me, not so much. I mean, I know I'm a good, good at writing stories and playing the guitar, but when it comes to basketball, I have to practice a lot just to be a decent player. The jerky side of Jake just started to bug me when I was trying to learn how to do a layup. For weeks, I've been working on leaping and aiming and shooting like an NBA star. I even got my older brother Iggy to help me. I was so excited when I could finally do it, I went over to Jake's house to show him. Hey Tyler, what's up? said Jake. Check this out, I can finally do a layup. After I showed him the move, he grabbed the basketball from me and said, yeah, well I bet you can't do this. Then Jake did a perfect hook shot. He couldn't just say, cool Tyler, or good job, you nailed it. He had to outdo me. Who am I kidding? I thought I'd never be great at basketball. Why am I even trying? Last Tuesday morning, I was in the middle of showing Charisse, my new music player, when Jake came over. What's that, he asked. It's a sound launch, shared Charisse. Tyler just bought it. You're kidding, a sound launch? You should have gotten the, the Tanage 300, said Jake. Then he went on and on about all the great things his music player could do that mine couldn't. I just stood there thinking of all the places I'd rather be than right here with Jake. Today we had a math test. I hate math. It's my hardest subject. My hands get all sweaty and my brain turns to mush whenever I try to solve the problem. Do you want to know what the worst thing about it was? Having the teacher tell you that the kid to the right was going to be grading it. And since I sat right next to Jake, he had to check my answers. Jeez, Tyler, I can't believe you got so many of these problems wrong. He said, that test was so easy. I must be like five times smarter than you in math. There should be a law that kids can't, don't get to grade other students' tests. Stupid tests and stupid me. When I came home from school, I threw down my backpack, headed to my bedroom and slammed the door. Hey, Tyler, called Iggy's mother, called Iggy from downstairs. Uncle Kevin's here. When I didn't go say hi to Uncle Kevin, he came upstairs. Why are you holed up in your room? He asked. I didn't say anything. I just kept tossing my basketball in the air. You know, Tyler, one of my favorite ways to get rid of the blues on my is nerves to... a lot lately. I know he's better than me at a bunch of stuff, but he doesn't have to rub it in my face all the time. I feel like I'm such a loser when I'm around him. Uncle Kevin nodded as he strummed some more chords. Is Jake this like this around your other friends too? I thought about it for a minute. I remembered hearing Carlos tell Oscar at basketball practice that he was sick of Jake's bragging. He thinks he's better than us, said Carlos. Yeah, what a show off, agreed Oscar. So it wasn't only me that Jake treated this way. The other guys were getting fed up with him too. Maybe it wasn't my fault after all. Maybe it had more to do with him than it had to do with me. 
I shared this with Uncle Kevin, and he told me that people like Jake are a lot like pufferfish, like the pufferfish we see at the aquarium. They puff up their bodies to make themselves bigger than they actually are. It's a way of protecting themselves from potential enemies, he explained. But when a kid acts like a pufferfish, he takes up so much space that he can also push his friends away. Uncle Kevin suddenly stood up and shouted, make way for pufferfish man, as he chased me around the porch. Mama was had a heart attack when she came face to face with pufferfish man. I laughed so hard my side started to hurt. After Uncle Kevin left, I biked to the schoolyard. When I got there, Jake and Nico, this new kid on my street, were on the fields throwing a frisbee. Hey, I said, can I play too? Sure, they said. When it was my turn to throw the frisbee, I flicked my wrist and put a sweet spin on the disc, flinging it directly to Nico. Nice, said Nico. Thanks, I said. And then Jake did what he does best. He puffed up. That's nothing, he said. Look what I can do. When it was Nico's turn, he did this amazing throw. throw. Our eyes nearly popped out of our heads. Wow, that was awesome, I told Nico. Thanks, I could teach you how to do it. Really? Sure. Only if you show me how you did your throw. You bet. Then Nico turns to Jake. I can show you too if you'd like. Yeah, well, I know all the cool frisbee throws I need to know, as Jake, Jake said as he started walking away from them. I ran up to him and said, come on, Jake, don't go. So what if Nico throws better than us? He's cool. Let's just toss the frisbee around. It will be fun. Nah, I'm out of here. Are you coming? I looked at Jake and then at Nico. No, thanks. I'm going to stay here with Nico. Whatever, muttered Jake as he turned and headed home by himself. Nico and I took turns teaching each other different throws and ended up talking about all kinds of stuff. I found out that Nico just got a guitar for his birthday. So I offered to teach him how to play. He thought that was a great idea. You know what? I have a feeling that Nico and I are going to be really good friends. The end. So what I want you to do is um, sit and think about what you think the author was trying to teach us. Remember, I want you to think about those two questions from the beginning. What did Tyler learn? And how did Tyler feel when he hung out with Jake? So again, lesson was the author trying to teach us through this story. Um, please write it down in your notebook and either you or your um, parent or grandmother or sister or brother or aunt or uncle can send me back a response um, through the Remind app. I hope to talk to you guys all soon and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!